Hi, on this video we're going to be looking at how to grab the name of a sheet in VBA and also rename a sheet. Now there's three ways to reference a sheet within VBA. It's important to know the difference. And I've actually written in some errors here to show kind of the major pains that you can run into when you're using these. So first thing we've got is sheet name. Now the sheet name happens to be right here. It is the tab name. And if you'll look, if we go to sheet one here, you'll notice that it's also here. Now there's also the index. Now the index is the number from left to right. So this is one, that's two, and that's three. And then the last one is the code name. Now the code name is going to be the reference before the parentheses up here in your project window. And I've got my code. And so without further ado, let's go ahead and go through these. Now that I'm in my macro, I'm hitting F8, which is gonna go line by line. First one is I'm using the sheet name. Now I did this in order, so sheet one, sheet three, sheet two, mostly because that's the order, because that's how we're gonna do our index. And so you'll notice I'm just adding the name to the range, it's pretty simple. So now we're gonna do the index. This index is by name. So what is the index of sheet three? Well, that's gonna be two. What is the index of sheet two? That's going to be three. You'll also notice um, we've got the code name up here. Now the index could be different based on order, um, and then now the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do this by index. So what is the first one? We know that that's sheet one name. Sheet one name, that's gonna be sheet one, and it is sheet three, sheet four. So we have just gone through and we have grabbed the name of a sheet based on the name, the index, and the code name. Now let's rename those. Now I've got a, another macro here called sheet rename. We're going to rename by index, which is sheet one, which is gonna be this guy right here. We're gonna do it by the name which I've got an error here that I'm gonna fix before I run it. It's gonna be name. So, and then that last one is sheet two. And so we're gonna go through this. Now this one is going to change the first index, which is that guy right there. Bam, sheet three, sheet three name. This is by the name of the sheet. We're gonna hit F8 again, and that is changed. And now we're gonna do it by object name. Now the object name right here, sheet name two, Sheet name two, that is sheet two. That's why we're doing it by the code name. All right, so we've got that changed. Now let's go through our code up here. Um, this happens when you've given your code to your coworkers or delivered some code and they change the name on you. Now what happens here? Well, the name is fine. That's okay, nothing's changed there. We're all good. We're gonna have problems when we reference the sheet name because the sheet name is error. We'll get an error here, get the same error here, and we will get the same here here same error here. Now why do we get that error? Because this reference or this name no longer exists. Now we don't get it here with our index and we don't get it uh, we don't get it with our index and we don't get it with our object. So that is why I highly recommend that you use the code name because if you've ever been in Excel people will change names and they'll out of space and it'll be painful to fix. So hopefully this gives you some insight and just a little bit more confidence as you work with sheets.